Hey guys, so I really hate to be that guy that's like, Ugh, I'm sorry I haven't put up any videos in a while. I promise I'll be back on a regular schedule soon. I'm really sorry. I love you all. Subscribe. But I'm going to be that guy. All right, here's what happened. I had a lot of family stuff go down the first week I was gone. And these past two weeks, I had more family stuff to deal with. And I was super busy with other stuff. So I'm really sorry. I am, though. I know I just mocked myself a little bit, but I am sorry, and I will be back on a regular schedule, I promise. Here's the deal, though. I'm going back to school now, and in order to have a regular schedule, I can only do one video a week, not two, like I've been doing all summer. And since I am going to school, my week, like the weekdays, are busy, so my schedule is changing back to every Sunday. So every Sunday there will be a video on this channel, an episode of Tech Talk, every Saturday there will still be a tutorial, which there wasn't one this week, but there will be one next week. So every Saturday on my second channel there will still be tutorials, and this channel, Tech Talk, schedule is shifting down to every Sunday. So I hope that's alright with you guys. You should still get your videos, just only one per week. I'm sorry, I don't have time to do two videos. Also, other news, I did the Ice Bucket Challenge. Uh, I was nominated by some friends of mine, so I did it, and I put it on my Facebook, but I decided I'll share it with you here on YouTube as well, so here it is. Hey guys, I got Tad to do the Ice Bucket Challenge. Ready? <laughs> Come on, Kiwi! Cow, please. <laughs> Oh, is uh, it cold now? Uh, what? Is it cold now for you? Uh, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> Let's actually do some tech talking. Uh, Apple is a great, well-respected tech company. And just like any other well-respected tech company, they put out some products that are like, really? So, these are the top five worst Apple products ever. Okay, now, this first one, number five is one that gets a lot of controversy. When I've said that it's bad in the past, I've gotten some people say, oh, oh, it's not bad. Just kidding. They've said, oh, no, this wasn't that bad. You know, I've had problems. Uh, I haven't had any problems that you've had. Well, I'm going to say that it does depend on the device, the specific device you're using. But for me personally, I've had lots of problems with iOS 6. Now, the problems include apps crashing, apps not working, uh, I've had just lots of weird glitches happen, music stops playing randomly, uh, so I just had really weird problems with that. I know it's not everybody, but that's my personal one. The reason it's number five is because it's not for everybody, it's only for me, and these are really only minor problems. Now, there's a guy I know out there that's really going to disagree with number four, but I'm going to say it's the Macintosh Portable. Aha. This is basically the grandfather to modern laptops. The only thing is, portable in 1989 was not what we consider portable today. Um, it was huge, it was heavy, uh, it didn't do much really. It, the, it was just bad if you compare it to today's computers. However, if you compare it to things of the time, it was actually pretty cool. But by today's standards, it was like... You, yeah, yeah. If you look at the Power Book that came out a few years later, you know, and the and even the MacBooks of today, even the first MacBooks, you're like, that's what came before that. How do, how do we go from this all the way to this? How did this? How is this the grandchild of that behemoth? Number three is the USB hockey puck shaped mouse. Apple has put out some crappy mice in the past, but this is probably their worst. Here's a picture. So it's shaped like a hockey puck. It's, it's a circle. And it's not ergonomic at all. It's uncomfortable. The button plays as weird. It's just like, really? And then you even look at today's mice, like the Mighty Mouse and the Magic Mouse. It's like, it's not ergonomic at all. Why? Like, make a regular mouse, Apple. What, what is your problem? This is a mouse by Microsoft. You can see there's nice little rests for where your pinky and thumb go. The buttons are right where your fingers land in the scroll wheel. That's how you make a mouse. What the hell is that? That's not a mouse. That's a kid's toy. That's not a mouse. That's a cat toy. That's not a mouse. I see those things at Red Wings games all the time. Number two is the Apple Lisa. Now, this was actually pretty 
awesome. It came before the Macintosh. It came in 1983. It was actually pretty awesome. But back then, they didn't have the resources necessary to create a graphical user interface, which is what all operating systems are today, pretty much. iOS, Windows, Mac. It's all graphical user interface. It means you use a mouse. The Lisa was the first GUI operating system designed by Apple. And it was great, but... It had all these features that cost a lot of money to implement, and it takes a megabyte of RAM to do that kind of computing with the graphics. And a megabyte of RAM back then costed $5,000. So that, with everything else, the Lisa cost $10,000 retail. That's about the price of a new car back then. So you would you either buy a computer, which computers weren't as useful back then as they are today. So would you rather buy a computer or a station wagon? or not a station wagon, a car for the family. So, users obviously didn't buy that very much, but then the Macintosh was much more successful. The Lisa itself was great, but the price was terrible. So, that's why it is number two on this list. And now, we have number one. Number one was actually a gaming console by Apple. I believe I mentioned this on my channel before. You might recognize it if you've been with me for a while, but it is the Apple Pippin. Yes! Apple tried a gaming console. It sucked. Basically, they worked with IBM to design it and to get the parts, and they designed a gaming console. And this was the 90s. It gives design to compete with the PlayStation and the Dreamcast and stuff. So they were up against Sony and Sega, two huge gaming companies. And it's like, it was bad. It, it, and not only was it bad... To begin with, but the lack of availability of games and all that, there just wasn't that much stuff available for the Apple Pippin. And just the games that were available weren't even that good, so it tanked pretty quickly. There was never a second version, so the Apple Pippin was a huge flop. It wasn't even just bat poorly designed, it was just like all the others are like poorly designed or had bright, bad price points or something. This thing was just crap. And it didn't even work very well. And the, it was just... Why? Why would you try that? Alright guys, it's my time. Don't forget to check out the four links in the corner of your screen. I still have that dance. Three weeks of being gone, I still have that dance. The four corner dance. The Joe dance, whatever I said I'd call it. Um, but don't forget to check those links out. Also, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below my video frame. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Joe Green, and I will see you next Sunday. That's not a mouse. I see those things at Red Wings games. My voice cracked.